a 2 kilogram mass attached to the end of a spring oscillates twice a second with an amplitude of 0.3 meters. Find the frequency of the oscillation, the spring constant k, the speed at the end point, speed at the equilibrium, and the position as a function of time in standard units. If x equals to 0 at t equals to 0. To find the frequency, we know that the frequency is 1 over period, and we know the period equation is 2 pi square root of m over k. We have mass, but we do not have the spring constant. So we cannot really use this equation to find the period and then find the frequency. But we know the mass oscillates twice a second, which means we can use the definition of the frequency to find it. The definition of the frequency is f equals to the number of events per unit time. Now we have two events in one second two events in one second. So frequency is two. What's the f unit for frequency? It is uh, hertz. Once we have frequency, we'll be able to find the period and then use the period to find the spring constant we are looking for. So the period is uh, one over frequency. So it's one over two. And this equals to 2 pi times square root of the mass, 2 kilograms, divided by the spring constant. So we have to solve for the spring constant. At first, we can divide by 2 pi on both sides. So divide by 2 pi on both sides. So this is uh, square root of 2 over k. And then we can square both sides. So this will be 1 over... 4 pi squared, and that equals to, once we square this side, we get the 2 over k. And then we can just cross multiply and then find the spring constant. So this will give us the spring constant is 2 times 16 pi squared, which is 316 newtons per meter. So that's the spring constant. And then we want the speed at the end point. At the end point, it's a turning point. So the speed is 0. And then we want the speed at the equilibrium. At the equilibrium, the speed is a maximum. So we can just find this maximum speed when we can use the conservation of energy. So the total mechanical energy is a constant. The total mechanical energy is the same at the end point and the equilibrium. At the end point, there is only potential energy, 1 half k amplitude squared. And uh, because the x is the amplitude at the end point. And then at the equilibrium, all the energy is in kinetic energy. So it's 1 half m times the maximum speed squared. Okay, so this is uh, 1 half, the spring constant is uh, 316, the amplitude is 0.3, so it's 0.3 squared, and then 1 half the mass is 2 times maximum speed squared. So this will give us uh, the maximum speed is uh, 3.77 meters per second. And this is the speed at the equilibrium position. And then we want to find the position as a function of time in standard units. And we know the position as a function of time is either a sine or cosine kind of function. So let's figure it out by plotting a graph. Let's see. We know that the position is 0 at t equals to 0. That means uh, it has to be a sine function. It's either a positive sign or a negative sign. Either one, you start at uh, x equals to 0. 
So we can say it is either positive or negative, and it's a sine function. What goes here is the amplitude. And then what goes here is a constant times t. So this is positive negative. The amplitude is 0.3 meters. And then we have to find this thing over here. To find this constant over here, we can plug in the t equals to the period. The period is 1 half. So if the t is the period, this thing, the constant we're looking for, times the time, times the period, which is uh, 1 half, equals to 2 pi. Because uh, when we plug in the time, that's one whole period. This uh, sine function completes one cycle, and the angle is 2 pi radians. So the thing we're looking for is uh, 4 pi. So we can put 4 pi over here, and this is the position as a function of time we're looking for.